Hey guys, so today we are continuing on with our mini Second Life tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking about conversations and how to actually talk in chat and the different chat features. So, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, this is the local chat. This is where people will be typing and talking. Um, if you click down on this little drop down arrow here next to the nearby chat, it will bring up everyone's name that are in the vicinity near you. To send out a message to local chat, all you need to do is click on nearby chat here and you will see you have the typing option. And so we can just say hi to everyone. And then to send the message, all you have to do is click enter. As you can see, someone said hi back. To send a private message to someone or a IM, all you need to do is right click on the person's name that you want to send a private message to and then click I am. And it will bring up a new window up here where you can type to that person and send them a message. If you don't wanna to talk to this person and you wanna get rid of that uh, chat conversation, all you need to do is right click on their name again and close the conversation and it'll get rid of it. There are a few different commands when it comes to the chat. So the first chat command or chat emotes are what they called that we will use is the slash me. This is typically used for uh, role play purposes if you are into role play, um, whatever your name is so mine is second life tutorial it will put your name in the beginning and then it will italicize whatever you write afterwards like i said this is typically for role play so if i wanted to type out an action i would use this um, so for an example of role play we could do slash me waves at the gentleman so it will put second life tutorial waves at the gentleman when i press enter as you can see, it's italicized, and this is very commonly used for any role play purposes. <laughs> all right, I just headed over to another area so that way we aren't bothering anybody as we're doing all these chat emotes. Um, the second uh, chat emote that we can do is slash shout. So when you shout something, it will send the message to everyone within a hundred meter radius. That means anybody, any avatars or people within that radius will see the message in their chat. It will also put the message as bold. So um, we can just say hello to everyone because why not? <laughs> so we'll do slash shout hello. And as you can see, it puts that I shouted hello. You can also do the same thing with slash whisper. And what that does is it will make it a more condensed radius where only people within a 10 meter radius will be able to see that message. So a very much closer range. So if we wanna whisper something, we can whisper hi. And as you can see, it's tiny and uh, italicized to show the whisper. Now the normal text chat distance limits are within 20 meters. So anytime you're talking in the chat, it is within a 20 meter radius that people will see that message in the local chat. Um, the way you know if someone's within a 20 meter radius is their name will be shown in this nearby chat area. Right now, no one is in my uh, 20 meter radius, so their profile picture or name is not popping up here. But if I were to move within a 20 meter radius of another person, it will pop up their name. So I will just move in some and make it so that someone is within our range. All right, so Jack just popped up into our range and that is about 20 meters away. So as you can see, since we are within that chat range, his name pops up here. Clayton also moved into our radius so we can see him. Another thing that you can do to talk is actually talk with your mic. In this area, they do not allow speaking. As you can see from this little microphone output volume looking thing here, um, it says voice chat is not available. They just don't want people talking into the mics in this area, so we are not allowed to use it right now, but I can still show you how to set it up if that's something that you want to use. All you need to do is go to me, preferences. Once you're in preferences, go down to sound and media. In here, you can, uh, select your input and output devices. Right here we can select our input device and it will also give you a preview of your voice that you can hear. So I'm just gonna leave it as my input device being default and my output device also being default. It just makes it easier. You can also adjust your microphone volume here. 
to make it uh, quieter or louder depending on your microphone's needs. You can also do a push to talk feature. To set that key, all you need to do is click set key and then press whichever key that you want it to be. Uh, you can also toggle this on and off so you will not have push to talk if you don't want it. And what you will need to do is just press this speak button down here when you want to speak. Also within here, you can change all of your uh, volume settings. You can make voice chat louder or quieter. Um, you can change button effect sounds, the ambient sounds around you, sound effects, uh, music streaming and media, etc., etc. Uh, you can adjust those to your liking. You can also do the same thing by going up here to the right hand corner and going to this little volume tab and you can adjust all of these volume settings here as well. When you are talking in voice chat, the same rules apply as a normal um, written typed out chat message. Everything is within a 20 meter radius. So the only people that are going to hear you talking are the people that are showing up here in the left hand side. I hope this video helped you guys. There is a playlist in the description below showing all of the Second Life tutorials that I have made. All of those videos are on different subjects of Second Life. If you are having any troubles or have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.